Hello all, your older brother. Like Jesus Christ, I suffer what you don't have to. Uh, yeah, I don't see Wonder Woman, man. I, I'm deadly serious. It is, um, it's sad. It, there was no, and for reasons you are not expecting, oh my God, did they go the feminist route? They did not. They absolutely did not. Um, it was total straight. That was the one cool thing I have to say about it. They didn't go for the easy bait. There was no moralizing about, and that's how we oppress the women. There was some funny stuff they alluded to because, you know, they're from their Amazons. Uh, but there was none of that. Uh, they still couldn't let it go. They still had to get a dig on the white man because there was an Indian in fucking World War I. And then um, the uh, North African dude, he could not act because of the color of his skin. They, they couldn't let it go. <clears throat> but it was so minor that, you know, it's like a retarded kid that gets a B+. Plus. You're kind of like, wow, you totally didn't fuck that up, Hollywood. Like, you you really restrained yourself and put in effort. You couldn't help. I understand you're, you're politically retarded. Uh, you still had to get your dibs in somehow. Kind of like if you remember um, the big short at the end. They'll blame it on immigrants and poor people. It's like it was a perfect movie until then. You just, you couldn't fucking let it be. You had to put fucking peanut butter on a, on, a, on a steak. You know, you just had to fuck it up at the end there. Uh, but aside from that, I was like, okay, but the movie is just not that good. What the movie is, it, it, sadly, the, it, it's not even about Wonder Woman. What this is, is it's a romance movie, and there happens to be a war going on occasionally behind it. And, oh, by the way, there's this gal called Wonder Woman. But it is basically a romantic drama between um, Chris, not Pratt, Chris, the, the main actor, and Wonder Woman. And it's sad because, dude, she doesn't fucking become Wonder Woman until like two-thirds through the movie. She's not like kicking Abby, there's none of it. And, uh, and, and then like, and then she, they, they go back to, she's just kind of, well, without going, she comes off the island where she's from, and she has to fit in to World War I Britain, World War I environment. So they're always covering her up. She doesn't have her armor. She's not being Wonder Woman. And, and then there's little moments in time she's allowed to become Wonder Woman. But it really is less than 5% of the movie. The rest of it is she's incognito. She's about to get the bad guy, but she's dressed up. Uh, it is not a superhero movie. It is, I'm not being serious. It is a romantic drama under the false pretenses of this being a superhero movie, <clears throat> where after watching it, shit, what, was that even about Wonder Woman? And uh, and then there's a war going on behind, and and it's just it, it's long, it's super long, so it completely fails. It's not this is not an action superhero movie, it just isn't. I mean, they introduce her, and there's like not so hot, subtle hints. The the hints are about as subtle as this. Bam, you know, like hey, Bruce Wayne's gonna be here sometime soon. Like, oh, uh, but it is not a superhero movie, and I was kind of sad because I'm like, hey, Wonder Woman, all right, here's a classic, here's one they could do really well. No, nope, it was a Massengill commercial. That's what it was. Um, what else was I gonna say? There was. It's it's not about her, romantic comedy, uh, romantic drama. Oh shoot, there was another thing. Oh, it's way too damn long. That was the other thing. Way too fucking long. Two and a half hours. Two and a half fucking hours. Uh, with maybe 10% action. 10% <clears throat> actual Wonder Woman. Uh, you you don't have the life expectancy. Again, oh, Aaron, the Clary of the place who watches movies. So I don't have to watch that fucking shit. Thanks for saving me two and a half hours. It's that bad. Don't, I, really. Um, I, I, you could have shortened it down to maybe an hour and a half. They could have picked a whole couple. Oh, and another, it's just going to, it'll grind your gears. If you're in the military, you are going to cringe. At the beginning of the, I'm not giving away anything. At the beginning of the movie, a World War II fleet, not, I'm sorry, World War One. World War One. German fleet or convoy happens upon the, the hidden island where all the Amazons live. And they're chasing the dude. 
<coughs> who stole a book and he accidentally happens to come into this island that is protected and hidden from the rest of the world. Well, they follow him, and the Germans, who are in a couple rowboats, pursuit boats, and a, a destroyer, I presume, big destroyer with guns, they find the island. And so what ends up happening is, obviously, the Amazons and the Germans end up fighting. And that's a, that was cool. That was cool. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good movie. But then they wipe out all the German soldiers who come aboard. And I'm like, well, wouldn't the destroyer be firing shells at the Amazon? What happened to the destroyer? They, after they mop up the floor with the German foot soldiers on the rowboats that come aboard, the movie just continues on. I'm like, wasn't there a big-ass destroyer with some big-ass 16-inch guns over there somewhere? And they leave that. I'm like, okay, you know what, Clary, let it go. Don't let No. They didn't consult any fucking buddy from the military about this movie. There are gaping holes. I mean, look, I, I didn't serve. I wasn't no military guy, but just common sense. Like the the big, they they have a meeting, akin to uh, the Dirty Dozen, where all the German high command is meeting in one place. And these guys are riding horses right up to the fucking castle. There's like no perimeter guard. There's no nothing. They just drive up and they just get right in. They just waltz right in. And I was like, no, no, wait, that, no, that's not going to happen. And then they finally get to the final installation where the nerve gas is. Again, I'm not giving away anything. And uh, what's her name? Wonder Woman jumps over the fence because she's Wonder Woman. She could do that. She dispatches three German guards. You, and okay, I'm, are you with me so far? A sword could kill people silently. Okay, all right, I'm with you. Then she meets the, the bad, ultimate, bad boss German guy, and he fires his gun at her, <clears throat> I think, once or twice. I'm thinking, okay, well, a, a bullet's a shot, a shot has been fired. Now they're going to sound the alarms. No, the rest of that base is completely clueless about this gun firing going on no more than 200 yards away from them. Then the, the, the fucking howdy gang, which is going to be the, the, you know, the, the ragtag group of misfits that are on this secret mission headed up by the Chris, Chris Pine, that's the guy's name, headed up by Chris Pine, they just waltz into this heavily guarded, like, don't you think they'd have patrols and they'd see the three German bodies in here and then, no, they just walk right in, as if it's the fucking Mall of America. And that's, I, the movie was already bad enough, but God almighty, can you have some fucking integrity? So that just, I, and after, and then it's just the talking with Chris Pine and Wonder Woman. I like you. I gotta go. No, don't go. I, I don't have enough estrogen for this movie. And then you think, oh, she's gonna be, she's gonna kick it. Oh no, they're just gonna talk some more. It, no, guys, it's not worth your time. So, um, go read a book. I know that's rare coming from me. Take in an audiobook. Buy one of my books. There, that makes it more like sounding like me. Go buy my fucking books and read something. Yeah, man, I'm not joking. It'll be more entertaining and, and more productive. Uh, but this is not... Look, everyone's got very little free time. Very little free time. That's why movie reviews are so... You wonder how the movie reviews so Because you spend so much time. Not even necessarily working up the money to pay for the movies. But you got to go there. You got to sit in as a group of you. And it's your free time. Don't waste your free time on this. This is not worth weekend time. It is not. Go have a conversation with your kids. Go have a con go do some. I mean, go throw rocks in a lake. Teach your kid how to skip rocks. Apparently, kids don't know how to do that anymore nowadays. But do not see this movie. It's just, it's not bad. It, it's just not that good. So, anyway, that's the review. Assholeconsulting.com. CaptainCapitalism.blogspot.com. The Clary Podcast. And some other shit that I do. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.